We know the story of Elkanah and Hannah in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1. Hannah was not having any children. Because of that she was suffering very much. 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 6, and her rival also provoked her severely, to make her life miserable. Therefore Hannah wept and didn't eat her food properly. In that time Hannah family went up from their city to worship and sacrifice to the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. Point 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 7. So it was, year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, that her rival provoked her, therefore she wept and did not eat. Hannah was sore vexed and went to the altar of the Lord and prayed with tears. 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 10, and she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. When Hannah was in anguish and sorrow she didn't go to her neighbors or friends to share her position. Instead she coosened to go to temple of the Lord and she prayed in anguish with tears. She continued in praying and she poured out all her heart's burdens on the Lord. Out of the abundance of her complaint and grief she prayed earnestly to the Lord. Afterwards she went her way and ate and her face was no longer sad. She had the confidence that the Lord heard all her prayers and definitely do a great things in her life. She made a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your maidservant and remember me, and not forget your maidservant, but will give your maidservant a male child, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, and no razor shall come upon his head. According to her faith, God blessed her with a boy child. Hannah conceived and bore a son, and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked for him from the Lord. As Hannah bowed before the Lord, she dedicated and lent the child for the Lord as long as he lives. Hannah praised the Lord and sang a beautiful song of thanksgiving in 1 Samuel, chapter 1. This Samuel became a great judge and prophet in Israel. He judged and prophesied in Israel all through his life. Prophet Samuel only anointed Saul and David as kings over the entire Israel. The Lessons When Hannah was in bitterness and down in her life, she went into the church and prayed and poured out her heart's sorrows and anguish in the presence of the Lord. After she prayed she was not worried and she made a covenant with the Lord that if she gets a male child then she will dedicate the child for God's service. She fulfilled her promise and gave her son for God's service. We can also pray with covalent and once our prayers are answered we can do our promise. Verses of the day, Psalms chapter 50 and verses 14 and 15. Offer to God thanksgiving, and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. Prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and compassion. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. We praise you and worship you. Thank you for today's Bible study. Lord, if we are in sorrow and anguish in our lives and if we pray to you with an vow, you are the God to hear us and answer us. We place all our difficulties, burdens and agony in your presence. Please, Lord, remove all our lives worries and grant us whatever we ask you in prayer. Thank you for answering our prayer. In the most wonderful and gracious Lord Jesus Christ's name we pray, Amen.